So here we have a question that says, find a polynomial function with degree 6. So we're supposed to find a, a function and the degree is 6. And negative 1 is a 0 of multiplicity uh, 3. Uh, 0 is a 0. That's funny. And it has a multiplicity of 2. And then 1 is a 0 with a multiplicity of 1. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try to, I just want to make sure everyone understands what a multiplicity is. So first off, let me jump back for a second and look at that function. Just plain Jane uh, quadratic here. If I was to factor this or find the zeros, if I was to factor this, if I want to find the zeros, factoring it would be an easy way of doing such. So let's try factoring it. And numbers that multiply to give you 4, it would add to give you 4. Looks like 2 and 2. Now, x plus 2 times x plus 2 gives you this function here. Now, if I set that equal to 0, that means that negative 2 is a 0 of that function. There's no point doing that again because I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the same steps and get negative two twice. So what we say is that uh, negative two is a zero uh, with multiplicity of two. It occurs twice. That's fun, right? Uh, just one another quick one. If I was to give you this long function here x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x minus 27. I'm not going to bore you with the factor by grouping, but if you factored this out, you'd wind up with x minus 3, x plus 3, x plus 3. Well, you see how you have two of these guys occurring at twice? You don't have to write all three factors out. You could write it a little bit easier as x plus 3 squared. See how there's two of them repeating, so that means we just write it as a squared. So uh, let's see. If I put if I set this equal to zero, that means three is a zero. It has a multiplicity of one because it occurs once. If I set this guy equal to zero, I get negative three. Well, this has a multiplicity of two. Two. This has a multiplicity of one. This guy has a multiplicity of one. This guy has a multiplicity of two. So what we're going to do then for this question is working in reverse. They're going to give you the zeros. So that means we know the factors. And they tell you what the multiplicities are on those factors. All right. Um, so let's go back to this. If negative 1 is a 0, what factor would that represent? x plus 1. Right. 0 is a 0. What would that represent? That's kind of weird, x plus 0, but you don't, you don't say x plus 0 or x minus, you just say x. Okay, So x is, is a factor. 1 is a 0. That gives you a factor of x minus 1. All right, so here's what we know so far. You got x plus 1. Oh, wait, the multiplicities. Here's 3, so you better put a power of 3 on that. Multiplicity here is 2, so we're going to put a power of 2 on that. And then the multiplicity is 1, so you put the power of 1 on there. So you've got x plus 1 cubed times x squared times x minus 1 to the first. I just don't write anything down there. Okay. So this is, you see, and you get 3 plus 2 plus 1 makes 6. That's your degree, 6. So now we need to multiply this all out. I need to multiply this all out. It says use 1 for a leading coefficient. So... I don't have to put any numbers in the front or anything like that. So there's a so that's what, we're not going to worry about the coefficients, leading coefficients. So let's try this x plus one <clears throat> times x plus one. I'm going to write it out in expanded form. Times x. I'm just going to do that as x squared times x minus one. Okay, so I'm going to multiply all this up first. We do the first two parts first. So I'm going to multiply this up. I'll just distribute x, then distribute 1. So 
So I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that's the first two terms first two factors multiplied out, and I got the rest of it still. Now I'm going to multiply out by x minus 1, so you distribute the x squared, distribute a 2x, and distribute the 1. So distribute x squared, distribute a 2x, distribute a 1. I'm going to clean it up a bit. Uh, these two terms will go together. So we get x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x. I'm sorry. Plus 3x plus 1. So I'll just clean that up. We've got the rest of this still. So everything is multiplied by x squared. So everything is multiplied by x squared. So we x to the fifth. 3x to the fourth, 3x squared plus x squared. And we're still multiplying it by x minus 1. So everything is multiplied by x, and everything is multiplied by negative 1. Everything is multiplied by x, and everything is multiplied by negative 1. That should have been a cube there. I'm sorry. 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. All right. We put everything together. Here's a fifth. And a, oh, there's a negative. So that would be 2x to the fifth. We've got 3. Negative 3 cancels. x cubed. Let's see. Oh, that was cubed. That should have been a cubed there, too. Cubed and negative 3x cubed makes negative 2x cubed. And then we got a plain j negative x squared there. I would try to multiply. I try to put this into my math lab first and see if it takes that. If it doesn't take that, then you have to multiply everything out to get this. Okay? So, to recap. They said the degree was 6. That means I have 6 factors. Negative 1 is a 0, so x plus 1 is a factor. It has a power of 3 on it because its multiplicity is 3. When 0 is a 0, it's just a plain x. It's a factor, and it has a squared on it. It happens twice. And then when 1 is a 0, you say x minus 1 is a factor. Multiplicity is 1, so you put a power of 1 on it.